Hey guys, AR15 guy here again. Um, today I'm going to do a quick um, takedown of the uh, Springfield XD40. Show you guys some things about it that uh, um, I hadn't found out a lot about, but I've talked about in the previous in some previous videos. Um, just some things to look out for with this firearm. This one is the original Springfield XD40. It's not the M version. Um, it is the standard um, size. Uh, I believe it's four inch barrel. Uh, the magazine holds 10, but you can also get 12 rounders for it. Um, it has the trigger safety. Trigger safety much like the Glock does here. And then it also has the grip safety back here. It does have a cocked indicator here as well as a loaded chamber indicator on the top. It lets you know. There's also this little hole here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little hole there. Um, that is actually where a pin, there's the, the, the firing pin, um, this holds it, keeps it from going going too far um, forward and uh, what happens is is if you dry fire that uh, too often that pin can break um, and then you have to replace it so anyway I'll get started with the quick takedown you put it in the you have to have the grip safety fully fully engaged you push it back you put the slide lock on and then there's a little lever right here that goes up you drop the the slide lock and then you have to pull the trigger and that pulls the pulls the uh, slide off. This one has a one piece guide rod. These originally came with a two piece guide rod. So you can see that there. The two piece I have it upstairs. I should have brought it down to show you. <coughs> but uh, this one has the one piece guide rod. Most of these or these came with the two piece guide rod. You push that forward, barrel comes out. There's the barrel. <clears throat> anyway, if you look on the bottom side of this, I don't know if you can see it too well. The bottom side, there's a little hole right there. You can see light daylight through it. That's where that pin goes in. And that's what holds the uh, firing pin from, um, from going too far. So um, what happens is, is if you do dry firing, it starts to weaken that pin and can cause that pin to break and you'll have to replace it. And you can take a, uh, a, uh, <coughs> a um, punch and just punch that out and then pop in the new one. Um, but it may come out in like three pieces. So you'll want to be careful of that. So then, um, <clears throat> and then there's the strip down part of it here. So then going, putting it back together is just reverse of the original or of the takedown. Make sure that's in there. Put it together. Make sure you're make sure that is fully compressed. If you don't, a lot of guys will pin that so that they don't have to worry about it. And you drop that down, then you can drop the slide. So that's a brief takedown. Like I said, on these you want to be careful when you dry fire. Um, because that pin can break, they're easily replaced. You just get a hold of Springfield, they'll send you out some new ones. Um, I think they'll send like two or three. Um, but it's a great gun. Um, it's very accurate. Um, I've had zero issues with it, uh, zero malfunctions, um, zero um, uh, failures to feed or anything like that. No catastrophic issues. Uh, I can shoot just about anything out of it. It'll eat through anything. I haven't come across any uh, loads that it will not um, that it will not shoot. So I mean, right down to to hand loaded, um, 
cast bullets uh, on up to hollow points. So anyway, it's a great uh, it's a great little uh, it's a great little firearm, and um, I'd strongly recommend it. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, definitely post me a comment down below. Um, and if you like the video, definitely like it, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.